Hello, this video was developed and produced by the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection to provide important information about upcoming annual spongy moth treatments planned for Western Wisconsin in 2023. On March 2, 2022, the Entomological Society of America announced spongy moth as the new approved common name to replace the name of this insect pest, previously known as gypsy moth. Spongy moth is an invasive pest that is spreading across the state. This insect is most damaging during the caterpillar stage, as it is a hefty feeder and can eat over 300 different plant species, with some of its favorites being oak, aspen, basswood, apple, crab apple, and paper birch. This insect was accidentally introduced in 1869 near Boston, Massachusetts and has been spreading west and south across North America ever since. Since this insect is not native, there are very few predators that are able to keep its population numbers in check. In Wisconsin, this insect is spreading westward, with the eastern two-thirds of the state generally infested, and the western third is currently uninfested. Treatment Rationale here are some examples of the damage spongy moth can cause during population outbreaks. The image on the left is the defoliation of trees in 2010 in Menominee County. Notice the severe defoliation in the hardwood forest on the left of the road and the absence of defoliation in the conifer plantation on the right side of the road. More recently, the photo in the upper right shows defoliation from 2002 observed at Blue Spring Lake in Jefferson County. Spongy moth can ruin landscapes and require costly treatments from landowners and businesses when populations build. Caterpillars reach up to two inches in length by their final instar and are very mobile. They have hairs that can irritate the skin when handled and often gather en mass, as seen in the photo in the lower right. Spongy moth is a damaging pest in eastern states where it is well established. Here are some examples of news articles over the past four years documenting some of the issues this insect can present when populations reach outbreak levels. The rationale for managing this insect is that outlier spongy moth populations can grow very quickly and slowing the spread will delay the onset of costly management further down the road. Spongy moth management timeline. Spongy moth management is comprised of two elements trapping and treatment, both of which are tied closely to the life cycle and biology of this insect. Spongy moth eggs are laid in late summer and remain as eggs throughout the winter and early spring. In Wisconsin, eggs hatch in late April to early May. Shortly after the eggs hatch, BTK treatments are applied. This usually occurs in mid-May through early June. BTK treatments are most effective when the caterpillars are small. Caterpillars feed and grow throughout June and July, reaching two inches in length. A single caterpillar can consume a square meter of tree leaves in the course of its lifetime. In Wisconsin, caterpillars pupate beginning in late June. This is when mating disruptant treatments are applied. Traps are placed in the landscape beginning in May so that an estimated 10,000 traps are set and placed before adults emerge in early July and males begin to fly in search of female moths. Traps remain up and catching moths throughout the summer and are taken down in late summer and early fall. When roadside traps catch more spongy moth than expected, program staff often set more traps in a smaller area the next year to pinpoint the source of the population. In these situations, trappers may seek to set traps on private property. Allowing traps to be set on your property can help control spongy moth populations and prevent damage to trees, but we understand if a landowner prefers to a trap to be set elsewhere. This is an overview of our annual treatment plans in the state. Our treatment plans are focused on spraying outlier infestations in western Wisconsin where this insect is not yet established. For 2023, we will spray 17 sites with BTK totaling 9,800 acres in seven counties. These counties include Chippewa, Crawford, Dunn, Grant, La Crosse, Lafayette, and Rusk. 
These treatments may receive one or two applications depending on infestation severity. BTK treatments occur from mid-May to early June. BTK is made from a naturally occurring soil bacteria and is used in certified organic food production. It is not toxic to people, bees, pets, or other animals. However, people with severe allergies may prefer to stay indoors during nearby treatment applications. In 2023, we will also spray 20 sites with a mating disruptant, totaling 61,450 acres in nine counties. These counties include Barron, Chippewa, Crawford, Dunn, Grant, La Crosse, Lafayette, Vernon, and Washburn. These treatments consist of one application and occur from late June to mid-July. Mating disruptant is an organic, small, waxy droplet infused with female spongy moth pheromone and is undetectable by humans. When an area is treated, the scent of the female moth floods the area and confuses male spongy moths so they cannot find females. This is an effective treatment because the spongy moths are at the end of their life cycle and die without reproducing. The easiest way to view treatment sites is the interactive web map viewer located at this web address. The link is also available on the DATCAP website at datcap.wi.gov, or you can also contact DATCAP directly. Contact information is provided at the end of this presentation. Spongy moth traps are placed every year across western Wisconsin to determine where isolated outlier populations exist. These populations are targeted for treatment in the following year. Traps only catch adult male moths as females do not fly. Females release a pheromone or chemical scent that attracts flying males. Traps work on a similar concept as they contain a small pheromone strip that attracts the males throughout the summer. Traps are green and can be shaped like a tent or a milk carton. Traps are often placed on the side of the road or in public locations, so you may see them across the state. Product Information BTK When an outlier population has been selected for treatment, there are two potential treatment options. One option is BTK. The active component of BTK is a naturally occurring soil bacterium, Bacillus thuringiensis, variation Kirstaki. This bacteria interferes with the digestive system of small spongy moth caterpillars and degrades within three to seven days of application. This product is environmentally friendly and used in areas known for dense populations of spongy moth. The product we will be using is called 4A48B, produced by Valent Biosciences. It is a registered organic product with the Organic Materials Review Institute, or OMRI. This product has been regularly used for decades in Wisconsin and across the U.S. for spongy moth control programs. Product Information Mating Disruptant the second spongy moth treatment option is a mating disruptant. This strategy involves treating an area with spongy moth pheromone to inhibit the male's ability to locate females. This product is non-toxic and inhibits their ability to reproduce. This treatment strategy is only successful in low-density populations along the leading edge of the expanding range of spongy moth. This treatment is applied as a small, waxy droplet embedded with spongy moth pheromone. Humans cannot spell spongy moth pheromones. The product is biodegradable and slowly releases the pheromone for up to two months after application. The trade name of the product used is Splat, Gypsy Moth Organic, produced by ISCA Technologies. It is a certified organic product by the USDA's National Organic Program. Mating disruptant has been used as a control strategy for spongy moth since the early 1990s. What to expect the day of treatment? All treatments are applied by small yellow airplanes. 
Treatments begin early in the morning, just after sunrise, due to the need for low wind and high humidity. The planes are loud and they fly very low. Although planes follow specific flight plans, pilots turn off the spray when going over areas such as open water, crop fields, and prairies. There are a variety of ways to contact us or find more information about our operations. We have a toll-free hotline number where you can talk to staff directly, leave a message, or hear a pre-recorded message on treatment plans. You can email us at spongymoth at wisconsin.gov or visit the DATCAP Spongy Moth Aerial Spray website at smarialspray.wi.gov. This website contains extensive information about Spongy Moth, our treatment program, and helpful links to other resources. Please also visit our interactive web map, which shows treatment locations across the state. Daily updates are posted by county on our DATCAP Facebook and Twitter accounts. Additionally, all addresses within or near a treatment site will receive notification postcards with our contact information. Thank you for watching.